Hey guys, it's Jen from MyCrayCrafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create card decals. I will leave all the supplies in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will get back with you right away. These were so much fun and so easy to create. It only took a couple minutes to do these. So stick along and I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, so I am so excited to show you this video. It's going to be a quick and fast and easy tutorial for you guys. So I am making car decals. So I purchased these either from Design Bundles or Etsy, and I will leave the links below in case you're interested in them. I've made quite a few of these already, and I absolutely love how they turned out. You can change them to any color you want, any size you want. The possibilities are endless, but they are so much fun. So really the only thing with this first one, with these ladies' heads and with the mom life, you can either choose to add this together with it or you can leave it alone. So I have this. This is just the head part. And then I also purchased this one, mom life, separately. So what I do is actually put them together like this. And then I'll grab both of them and I'll align it like that. But sometimes I don't really like how it looks aligned. So I'm just going to pull it over a little bit. So since I already have this file, I'm going to select this one and hit the duplicate button. And I'm just going to do another one over here. But now I'm going to finish this one up, grab this, and then attach it so that when it cuts out, it will cut out as you see it. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And if you wanted to change the color, you're going to want to do that beforehand. So I'm actually going to make this one a holographic one. So just for the purposes of video, I'm going to turn, change it to purple. And then I'm going to do this one as well, just to purple just because then when I cut it out, I remember I wanted to do holographic. So you can move this wherever you want it. And again, you can select both, go to the align button and then center it. But then I don't really think it looks too centered. So I just move this over a little bit more. And then the last thing to do is just select both and then push attach. And then that is how it's going to cut out. So all of these are done already. I'm just gonna cut this one out in the holographic. I think that looks pretty cool. And then the last thing I wanna do with this is just change the size. It, it all depends on what you want it for um, or where you wanna put it. I'm actually gonna be selling these. So I'm gonna do a couple different sizes. I'm gonna do like four by four, three by three, kind of different sizes. So just to do that, you wanna select what you have, click the unlock box up here, and then you can change it to be whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do a four by four. And it doesn't always have to be exact four by four. You can always just take the um, four arrows and kind of pull it like that. So I'm going to leave this one the way it is. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just unlock it and then change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to do four and a half by four and a half, and we'll see what that looks like. So that one looks good to me. So I think I'm going to do this one four and a half as well. So just unlock it and then change it to whatever you want it to be. And then just this last one really quick, just to get it over with. And I just like them all four and a half by four and a half. It looks pretty good that way. I think I'm actually going to change this one to be the same exact. So when I go ahead and cut them out and then I put a price on it, I can price reference it with the size. So these are done right now. And then this one I thought was kind of funny. My husband actually does this in, a car, in the car a lot, so I think it's kind of funny. He's sitting next to me and doesn't think it's very funny. But, um, so yeah, the same thing with this one. I actually kind of like the size of it, but I'm just going to make it more even instead of the 6.4 by the 3.7. I think I'm actually going to change it to be like maybe six by four. So I'm going to unlock it and then just change it to be a six by four. It's just a little bit easier when you're cutting things out to have it uh, a rounded size. And then this one is already attached. So I don't have anything to do with this one. And then this one I found on Etsy, I believe. So I will leave the link below to this. And I think I'm going to do the same thing, four and a half by four and a half. But again, you can change it to whatever size you want, whatever you're going to be putting it on. You can change it to be whatever it is. This one does come out as one whole piece. So unfortunately, you can't change the skull color with the words here. So I'm actually going to just do um, black and white with these. So I'm going to duplicate this. So I select this. I'm going to put the duplicate button. I'm going to do one black and then I'm going to, oops, do one white. So I'm just going to go up here. My computer's going slow. Here we go. And I'm going to go up here to the color box and I'm just going to change this to white. So I want one to cut out black, one to cut out white. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to duplicate this one. 
and then just do the same thing. I'm going to do one black and then one white. And then for whatever color you want these, like I said, I'm going to do this one holographic. I think I'm actually going to do another one holographic. So I'm going to change it to purple so that I know that when it comes to the purple ones, I'm going to use holographic. And then I think I am actually going to change this to be white just to make it a lot easier with just the colors we have here. So everything is finished. They're all resized. They're colored the way I want it to be. The next thing you want to do is just go to make it. Then it's going to show it to you what it looks like on here. What I like to do is just spread them out a little bit so I can take my scissors and cut in between. And then also if your vinyl has grids on the back, I would suggest going and putting them directly on the grid. Um, just if you're going to sell these, it makes it look a little bit nicer if you have the, the lines behind it. So I'm actually going to pull this down a little bit further so I can have a little bit more extra room in between them. So when I cut it out, I, I can have the nice grid paper on the, on the back. So I'm going to do the same thing with these ones. A little bit harder to see, but again, just moving them apart and then able to use the grid behind it. Same thing here. You don't have to do this, but again, it just makes it look nicer if you have the grid paper. So I'm going to push continue one last time. It's connecting to my maker machine that I have, and then I'll show you which setting that I use. Okay, here, so here's my base materials. When I'm using just regular stencil vinyl, this is what I use here, the stencil vinyl one. If I'm using like uh, the heat transfer one, I always use this one, the heat transfer non cricket It's just what works for me really well. So I'm going to actually be using this one, the stencil vinyl one here. And then you want to make sure you have a... Uh, very sharp fine point blade in and then you put your uh, vinyl on your mat and then what I like to do is use my scraper and actually scrape my vinyl down really well on my mat um, just kind of helps adhere it better so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all three of these out and then I will show you what it looks like and if you're interested in any of the vinyl I use I will leave that down below as well I'm using new holographic vinyl and this is going to be the first time I'm using it I, I got it from a new company so I'll let you guys know how it works and where I got it from but I'm gonna finish this up I'll weed it out and then I'll show you what the next step is okay so I said I was gonna skip this process but I had a couple of you ask how I do the weeding process so you can skip forward if you know how to do this already but I'm just gonna to show you I don't know how well it shows up right now my lighting in here is not the best I'm sorry um, but this is the new vinyl that I received from a company and I'm going to leave the link below and uh, show you how it weeds and all that I will be honest with you when I cut my stuff out I forgot to transfer or tr change the settings to um, holographic so please make sure you do that I had it on regular vinyl and it did not cut all the way through so I had to go back and do a second cut so here it is here I really love the color of this vinyl. I really wish it would show up better. I'm going to show you what they sent me, and I'm going to be honest with you and show you how well it weeds. I've never used this before. I've used holographic in the past, and it's done really well. Um, these are some of the ones that I already made before. So this is the Mom Life one, and then <laughs> this is the Help Dad Fart. Oh, I'm missing the F. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm missing the F on there, so I have to go back and get that one. Um, but it says uh, Help Dad Fart, or we can't get out. I thought that was really cute, but I did not realize I was missing the F, so I'll have to go back and cut that. And then another Mom Life one just in white. So I have a few of these cut out already, and I wanted to show you. I've never used this. I actually found it in my stash. It's just like a, um, a cutting board on here, basically. So uh, this is, let's see, the Fiskars kind. I know that Cricut sells these, but I actually totally forgot about this until I looked in my stash, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to try that. So it's going to be a lot easier cutting this out rather than um, using the scissors and trying to figure it out. So I'm just going to lay this in here. And I'm going to try to show you the best way that I can with the video. My setup in here is not perfect yet. So I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm just going to actually change the thing quick here. Maybe this way you guys can see a little better. Don't mind my mess back here, please. Please ignore that. So I'm just put it in here. And there's a little line here where you can see where it's going to cut. So I'm trying to, to save some of the vinyl. I don't want to have a whole bunch of vinyl overlapping. And I want to make sure there's enough on the end that we can um, put the transfer tape over it and let the people put it on there. So again, I'm going with the line here. I've never used this before. I'm actually really excited to see how it cuts out. So I'm just going to take it and pull it. And go again. And it seems like it cut really well, so fingers crossed, we will see. Oh my gosh, yay. 
Okay, so that actually did really amazing rather than using my scissors and trying to figure out where to go. Because like I said before, some of them have grid paper on the back, some of them don't. This one does not, so I would have had a heck of a time with the scissors trying to figure out where the center was. So now I can just make another cut and do the same thing. So I'm just going in the middle now, and I'm going to use the grid on the cutter itself to make sure it's nice and straight. Wow, guys, this is amazing. I'm going to find this for you, and I'm going to leave a link below when I do. Again, this isn't the Cricut brand, so it might be a little bit cheaper. But I've had this for so long, and I totally forgot about it. So, wow, that is so much easier, and it definitely works out a lot better. So here's this one, and then here's this one. And I can also go on here and cut this little bit of vinyl off, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then I will show you the weeding process. I hope you guys can see this on camera a little bit better but I'm just going to weed this out. So the way that I do it is I buy these cheap little weeders from Harbor Freight rather than buying the Cricut brand. If you guys watch my channel, you know I hate the Cricut brand. I'm sorry. The only thing I like about Cricut is their machines. I'm gonna move this again really quick. Sorry. There, it might be a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. But again, I bought these at Harbor Freight. I think it was $2.99 and you got six of them. And they come in different um, pieces. I like the ones that have the little hook on it. It makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. So I'm just grabbing an edge up at the top here and then I'm just pulling it back. Again, you guys probably know how to do this already, but just for those of you who are new and you're not sure how to do it, this is how I do it. So I just start with the outer pieces first making sure I get all the pieces. Sorry, I'm trying really hard to stay in, in camera range here. It's hard for me to see and do this at the same time. I gotta get my little other office space back. But there, so I have this. This obviously you're just gonna throw out. You're not gonna use this anymore. And then you wanna go in with your little weeder and then you can pull off all of the extra access. Oh my gosh, I said access, guys. Oh my goodness, I need to go to bed. Access. So you just go in and take off the excess stuff that's in here and then you just want to go in and find all the little spots. I know people have like little garbage cans and little things that stick on your fingers and stuff to use these. I just use my fingers and I grab the pieces when I pull them up and I just put them right in my finger. I don't see a use for extra money being spent maybe. In the future I'll do it but as of right now I just am used to just using my finger just like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you have something to take stuff off like this? Should I invest in something? I don't know. So here is what it looks like so far. Then I'm just going to keep going in. I don't know if it shows up well on the camera, but there's just little pieces here. So I'm just taking out all these little tiny pieces and leaving everything else behind. <clears throat> like I said, this is a new vinyl to me. I've never used this holographic vinyl. I really love it. I'm being honest with you. If I didn't like it, I would be honest with you guys and tell you I didn't like it. I'm actually going on my computer. I'm going to see what the name was called really quick. But I've never used this company before. They sent me some, and I really, really do like it. So it's called HTV... I guess it's called HTV Rant, HTV R-O-N-T Vinyl. Kind of a different name, but yeah, I really like this stuff. Like I said, I will be, I will always be honest with you guys. If I like something, if I don't like something, if it works really well, this is weeding really, really well. This, I love this vinyl. I would definitely highly recommend this company. This is the first time I'm using their vinyl, but I really do love it it seems to be you know it's weeding really really well here and it seems to be really good quality as well so i will leave the link in case you're interested in this below um but i just wanted to show you guys really quick the weeding process of it it's kind of weird my finger here but like i said i don't use a lot of extra things i just use whatever i have on hand but so far so good it's working out really well i'm um, just going to take one of these bigger pieces off here but again, this is weeding absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. I'm definitely going to go back again. And like I said, they gave me so many colors to choose from, and it's not expensive at all. So I will leave the link below, and I'm going to finish this up. I just have a few pieces um, in the glasses here that I'm going to finish up. I don't think I have one that has glasses, but here's the other mom one that I did. And here's another HD. Oh, here it is. Here's the glasses. So it's going to look like this. It's just going to be little pieces in the middle here. Um, but I love this stuff. So I'm going to finish this one up. You guys know how to do this now. So this is the weeding process. If I missed anything else that you guys want to see, please let me know. I did get a comment from somebody saying, 
you know, you say you're step by step, but you left the weeding out. So I apologize for that. I didn't realize that people wanted to watch me weed, um, but this is how you do it. And if you know how to do it, please fast forward it and go to the next step. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. And after I'm done with this, I'm going to actually do another video showing you how to package these if you want to sell them. So that's going to be a whole new video. You want to stay tuned for that because these are really, really great sellers. I'm going to go ahead and put um, some transfer tape on here. Uh, bear with me one second. So I I have this dollar store transfer tape which works amazing but lately I've been seeing that when I pull it off it has some sort of weird residue on it so I'm gonna show you hang on one second so I bought a huge roll of transfer tape I'm trying to show you guys here we go it was huge and this is such great transfer tape it doesn't have the backing lining on it so once you put it down, that's it. And it also doesn't have the grids on it, which I kind of like, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, I'll show you. Really. So I'm just going to take some off here. Let's move my stuff over. And I'm going to work with this first one. So all I'm going to do. Whoops. Hang on, guys. I see one little piece here I forgot. Kind of jumping the gun, getting all excited to show you about all this stuff. And I forgot one little piece here. There we go. So all done. Perfect. So now I'm just going to take my transfer tape and just go right over it and then I could take that nifty little cutter thing again and I'm sorry I'm so close guys this is not the best place for me to be doing a video but I wanted to show you guys step by step what it looks like so now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna follow the line where I had it before where I already cut it so I can go right on the edge and then I'll get a really good nice straight line all the way up so just like that so that's how I do my transfer tape then I'm just gonna take a squeegee which I have one right here and just imagine it's all cut all cut around the edges right so I'm just gonna take my squeegee and rub it in really really well just like this that's all you have to do make sure you get all the bubbles out make sure it's nice and sticky to it all right, so I'm finished with these decals. Here's this one, Help Dad Farted. See, I put the F in here, so I fixed it. And then this is the other holographic one, and another holographic. And then this one, you're probably not gonna see too well, but this is the best something husband ever. I'm not saying it. Um, so I thought these were really cute, and I just wanted to show you. So here is the um, backing on it. So you just wanna make sure that when you are going to sell this, if you are, that you just wanna squeegee it really well so that the vinyl goes onto the transfer tape. But I just wanted to show you that's what they look like when they are finished. I have a whole bunch of them finished, but for the next segment, the next video I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to package these. So I put these in a bag that I bought from Amazon. I put my um, little business card in here and then also how to apply your decal. So then I have the other part in here. Here is the mom life one. And then I also did some other smaller ones, but I think I'm going to get a smaller bag for these ones. So here's the little one that goes on your car on like, you can put it like on your um, gas can area. But then again, here's the, how to apply a decal. And then I also put my business card in here in case someone wants it. But that is going to be the next video. I'm going to show you guys how to create these. They are so simple to make, but I used a whole bunch of different colors of it just to make it kind of fun putting it into the bag. So again, here is the last part. I really love how these turned out. Sorry, you can't really see that one too well, um, but I'm definitely going to be making more. I'm going to be putting these in the two stores that I'm in and also putting it on my blog as well, iCreateCrafts.com. So if you're interested in any of these or you need help with anything, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you like this video i really hope it helped you out i had a lot of fun with these and i hope you do too happy crafting everyone